Well, I don't know if you can read the sign over my shoulder on Tundra Oil and Gas Place, but it says Humboldt Strong. And that really is the overwhelming message people here in Verdon have for the people of Humboldt, Saskatchewan and the Humboldt Broncos. They packed Tundra Oil and Gas Place. They packed it to the rafters, not only to show their support for the hometown team, but to show their support for a hockey team, a city and a province that is still deep in grief. Before puck drop, a somber ceremony. Tonight, two teams unite as one, representing our hockey family. Honoring the 16 lives lost in the Humboldt Broncos bus crash, and also the first responders, billet families, and the minor hockey program. I mean, it's two teams playing tonight, but the hockey family is one family. It's one community, and we're all coming together to support. Paige Meikle was among those who signed a poster of messages for the Broncos. Her family has billeted Verdant Oil Capitals players for the past five years. One of those players died of cancer in 2014. It was earth-shattering because I know how those families feel. I mean, it's incomparable, but I know how they feel. The Oil Capitals sold Humboldt Strong shirts and players wore Broncos name bars on their jerseys. The teams also observed 16 seconds of silence before the game, one second for each of those who died. I, I have three daughters who have been in sports and I just felt having the kids, I, I needed to be there and support these boys and, and their, their team. Verdon won the game 4-3, but as one player said before the game, they were playing for something much bigger than just a hockey game. They were playing for the Broncos. Riley Lechuk, CBC News, Verdon. Representing the Steinman Pistons parents.